Good morning, fellas. James is back with a full load here. What do you got in here, James? We got everything. Let's little see. A little bit of everything. Look, the suspense is killing me. Oh, man, you got a full house here. We got, we 40 got foot. Four, sorry, I almost stepped on you. 40 foot. Two strokes. Four strokes. I think there's a Harley up in the front there. Let's get this unloaded. Look at these bad boys. We got a Penton, an XR120, two Pentons. A KTM. Let's check it out. Old school's got a XR100 here. May look like a bone to you, but we got in this box right here a B brand new BBR120 big bore cylinder. And I got the engine in there, so we're going to make uh, lemonade out of a lemon. This one's an OSA. Looks like a, a 250. Yeah, it's good. Next up, we got a Penton Six Days. 1972 I've got the top end in the box some assembly required but uh, I see potential that's what I see the reason it says Penton KTM is those bikes were made in Austria by Penton by KTM excuse me for John Penton in the US the rest is history Ken KTM bought him out in the US distribution rights and became the powerhouse they are today this is another OSA roller we got the motor on the ground over there don't worry, James always saves the best for last. All the good stuff's up in the front. Oh, there's an RD400 in here, too. Here's an OSA SDR six-day replica. It's probably 72. I told you they were getting better. Look at this one. This is a nice blue Penton. I think that's a Penton KTM 250, 74 and a half. This next one is from Uncle Dale. A new KTM 520 carb. Look at this thing. Wow, Dale's, Dale's, actually Dale's uncle owned this thing since it was new, and it's got like no time on it, he said it's a dime, can't wait to ride this thing. Nice, big bore, KTM, Uncle Dale's, that's a thumper right there, wheelie machine, the wizard's really good with these, he used to race these, he built three in the last year, full frame up restorations that came out wicked, this one just needs a doesn't need a restoration. It's in pretty good shape. Next one up is a nice Harley Davidson Sportster 1200. There's two Harleys in here. This one's pretty badass. All blacked out. Forks and quarter fairing on it. Very cool. Next one was a 2023 Gas Gas 700. We took down a Daytona. Last year, the steel frame CR, I believe. I think this one's a 96. 250. It's a ripper. Can't wait to ride it. Next up is a sweet CR250. This thing's all from Mark, Mark Scalzi, Dirt Bike Dean, down on the Conta, Florida. It's all done up. This is a ripper. Look at this bad boy. I told you he saves the best at the front of the trailer. This is stunning. This is a 2000 model year. One of the second to last year, the CR500 completely frame up, restored by Mark Scalzi on Dirt Bike Dean channel. Uh, this thing's top shelf. Next up, we've got not one, but twins, Basil, KX500s. This one's exceptionally nice. These things are awesome. Big board monsters. Definitely rip your house off the foundation, no doubt. 500 cc's of two-stroke power. 99 CR125 two-stroke. Needs a little love, but it's got a lot of potential. This is a cool piece, KTM 252 stroke, back when they came from the factory with Owens and the Marzaki Magnums before they bought WP. Very, very cool piece, very powerful two stroke. Here we got a classic Suzuki 250 full floater. This one came from Mike Genero's collection. Gonna need some love, but tons of potential. It's a 500 that uh, Ronnie Mack got to ride at PAX Track. That view got like 330,000 views, so uh, definitely worth a couple of fenders. <laughs> this one I'm particularly excited about. This is an RD400 that Mike Genero bought brand new, and uh, he's in his 60s now. This thing's got 10,000 miles on it. The only reason he changed the tank is the original green tank, he let the bike sit for 30 years, and it had rust holes in the bottom of it, so he bought this tank on eBay. Um, we'll restore it, paint it green. This will be a beautiful piece when it's done, so stay tuned. It's got some nice chambers on it. Brand new set of carbs. Told you we saved the best for last. This is a uh, another bike from Mike that 
he bought brand new. This is a CVO Harley Davidson. Screaming Eagle 110 cubic inch Dyna Lowrider with a 105 horsepower stage three kit on it. Cam, pipes, intake. Very limited production, only made 742 of these. Arguably one of the nicest looking Dynas ever made. And straight up badass right out of the crate. Real nice, low miles. How many miles? Oh, you gotta turn it on. Yeah, I think it's got like 10,000 miles or something. Things a dime. Trailer's unloaded. Now we just gotta get everyone organized. And then James, on to his next adventure to yep. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, right? Yep, gotta pick up another load. 15 more, right? Yep. We got tons of loads of bikes coming up from our Florida trip, so stay tuned, folks. How many bikes for sale? Give us a call. We're always looking to buy collections of bikes. Going to Southwick tomorrow to see the national track. A little local pros on it, so stay tuned. I'll some killer racing footage for you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. And as always, God bless the United States of America.